Hello guys, today we're having a look at, at how to successfully create the matrix batch file. Now guys, the matrix batch file is a batch file that literally everyone who knows anything about batch files has probably written in the past. So, uh, the matrix batch file is very, very, very fun to write and the outcome is extremely enjoyable. Firstly guys, I just want to say I'm very, very sorry for not having an, up an upload in a while. I got quite sick and then my microphone managed to break itself, which is really, really unfortunate. But anyway, guys, um, I'm feeling a lot better now and my microphone is in working order, so we're all good to go. Firstly guys, um, batch is basically a Windows script file, so basically most programs you can run command are written in batch. And guys, unfortunately, if you're running Linux or OS X, I doubt you'll be able to do this unless maybe you might be able to install a version of CMD. I'm not, don't quote me on that though. Basically guys, um, we're going to start coding now. So we're just going to go new and we're going to call it a text document. Then we're just going to name this the matrix. So we just click on it and we're just going to rename it to the matrix. Now inside here, um, when you code, whenever you code in batch, you always want to start with at echo off. The reason we do this is because um, you probably know this if you're quite seasoned with batch. What basically happens is we go at echo off. If we don't have this little line here, it basically tells us everything that is currently being executed. So it shows us what's being executed while it's being executed. Um, it, sorry if I didn't explain it as well as I potentially could have. If you want to just go ahead and look on the web, and I'm sure there will be an adequate explanation up there. So at echo off. Next thing we want to do is set the color. So we're just going to go color OA. That's my favorite color for the matrix. Some people might disagree, but whatever. Anyway, remember guys, uh, if you are in a country where you speak British English, remember it is not C-O-L-O-U-R. However, you speak American English in your country of origin. Don't, do not worry about it. So it's basically just color OA. Now we're going to have a look at using a go-to loop now. So this basically, this is an endless loop that will never stop. How you make something to jump to, we're just going to go colon followed by main. Now this is a little block that we can jump to. Following that, we want to have a go-to statement that just goes go-to main. So what happens here is it, for instance, this is how it would get executed. Program start. Echo off tells that color OA. So it sets the color. It would ignore this and then it would move on and it would say go to main. It'd go here and it would basically ignore main and then it would go back to go to main. So guys, basically what happens now is inside here we want to actually put in what we've done. So we want to go echo random. And we basically just want to copy paste this. We want to continue to copy paste this as many times as we possibly can. That is basically the goal in this instance. We want it to be as big as we can. Now finally guys, you have to save as and you have to go the matrix and you have to do dot bat at the end and it has to be an all files. It can't be text files. So when we go ahead and click on the save button, what basically goes ahead and happens is we have it now on our desktop and we can give it a quick run and as you can see guys we get this freaking awesome thing up here what happens is it basically just simulates the matrix so it's really 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 cool guys really hope you like this um hope you enjoy the tutorial hope the matrix is great for you and i'll be sure to see each and every one of you guys next time